I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And, and this, this is Lacey. Lacey. We're, We're going, going to, to Palm Springs. Springs. But first, we've got to pick up our friends from the airport. They were excited for some sun. It was a little chilly for December in Palm Springs, but it was still a gorgeous day. We decided to go downtown and do a little exploring. We had to see what was going on in Palm Springs. Oh my gosh, they have the most adorable downtown. The buildings are so cute and the sidewalks are lined with stars. It's so fun coming down here. You feel like you've stepped back in time. There's so many restaurants and stores. And on this afternoon, live music was even going on. It was such a cool ambiance. We started looking at all the fun art downtown, but before you know it, Lacey was barking at the Sonny Bono statue and asking for food. We quickly looked around to see if we could find anything good, and we found a great Mexican restaurant named Maracas. It had a great vibe, and it was right downtown on the main street. We opted for a seat on the patio where we could people watch and toast to the great afternoon. And Lacey made sure she got a few bites along the way. After a great lunch, Lacey reminded us we had more sightseeing to do. Lacey told Sonny Bono, I got you, babe. I think he appreciated it considering how many people sit on his lap without asking. The high clouds were starting to clear and it was turning into a gorgeous afternoon, so we decided to go exploring. I just love the palm tree lined streets here. We made our way down the street, checking out all the famous stars and the famous stores. Palm Springs became famous in the 1930s when Hollywood stars started running there to escape the paparazzi. Getting the juiciest scandal paid well back in those days. And you'd be reimbursed for your travel, up to 100 miles. Palm Springs is 107 miles from Los Angeles. So the Hollywood stars could vacation here without all the prying eyes. Apparently the extra seven miles just wasn't worth the juicy scandal. It's amazing how far they had to go just to get away from the paparazzi. These days, all kinds of stars come to Palm Springs to get their pictures taken, especially when it's all dressed up for the holidays. They run away from the paparazzi, but somehow have a perfect pose at every statue, all the while acting like they didn't want their photo taken in the first place. If they run away from the paparazzi for long enough, they might even find there's a beer that's as cold as the heart of their ex, producer, agent, co-star, who knows? We had so much fun looking at all the art on the street. This place is filled with it. Lacey ran into a local and got the inside scoop that there was a famous movie star doing a book signing just down the street. We got all excited and on our way, Lacey told this puppy that there was a movie star and the puppy got really, really excited. Lacey made sure we got ahead of the puppy in line because she didn't want to come next after all of that excitement. We arrived at the store where they were having the book signing and we put Lacey in the backpack and strolled into Just Fabulous. Oh my gosh, this store was fabulous. I couldn't get enough of it. And in the corner was Ed Bigley Jr. He was signing his book. So we got in line to get a copy. Once we bought our copy, we stood in line to have him sign it. And oh my gosh, he was so nice. He was so personable. And he was nice enough to say hello to Lacey. What a fun, great store in the middle of downtown Palm Springs. And of course you can't go to Palm Springs without saying hello to the Maryland statue. We all enjoyed the beautiful craftsmanship of the statue, even as we had a lively debate over the artistic integrity. We finished the afternoon with a walk around the little park next to the art museum. It's a palm tree filled park with a beautiful romantic waterfall that's part of an art walk that extends the entirety of the downtown. Thanks, Thanks for going, going to Palm Springs, Springs with us. us.